Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is sports and leisure. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which football club's motto Superbia in Perilio translates into English as pride and battle? The answer is Manchester City. Manchester City's motto, Superbia in Perilio, translates to pride in battle. Interestingly, this Latin phrase perfectly encapsulates the club's rise from humble beginnings to becoming one of the most successful football teams in recent history. It reflects their unwavering determination and fighting spirit on the pitch, making it a fitting motto for Manchester City. Question 2. Who lost Wimbledon singles finals to Boris Becker and Pat Cash? The answer is Ivan Lendl. Ivan Lendl, a tennis legend in his own right, lost the Wimbledon singles finals to both Boris Becker and Pat Cash. Despite being one of the greatest players of his era, Lendl couldn't quite conquer the grass courts of Wimbledon, falling short against these two formidable opponents. Question 3. What sport has four different color codes for the balls, ranging from yellow for hot conditions to blue for cold? The answer is... Squash. Squash, a fast-paced racket sport, has an interesting feature when it comes to its balls. To accommodate different playing conditions, squash balls are color-coded. The colors range from yellow for hot conditions to blue for cold ones. So next time you hit the squash court, make sure you have the right ball for the temperature. Question 4. What swimming stroke is named after an insect? The answer is butterfly. The butterfly stroke, named after the insect due to its resemblance to the way butterflies move their wings, is one of the most visually captivating swimming strokes. It requires a combination of strength, coordination, and rhythm to execute properly. So next time you're in the pool, channel your inner butterfly and glide through the water with grace. Question 5. Which Scottish football club is named after an Irish monk? The answer is St. Mirren. St. Mirren Football Club, based in Paisley, Scotland, is named after an Irish monk named St. Mirren. Legend has it that he arrived in the area in the 6th century and established a church there. The club adopted his name as a tribute to the historical connection between Ireland and Scotland. Question 6. What is the maximum score possible in a game of 10-pin bowling? The answer is 300 points. In a game of 10-pin bowling, achieving a perfect score of 300 points is no easy feat, but did you know that the odds of rolling a perfect game are incredibly rare? Statistically speaking, the chances of accomplishing this impressive feat are about 1 in 11,500 for an average bowler. So next time you hit the lanes, remember just how remarkable it is to score that elusive 300. Question 7. Who won the 1982 Soccer World Cup? The answer is... Italy. The 1982 Soccer World Cup was won by Italy, but did you know that their victory was almost derailed by a superstition? Prior to the tournament, the Italian team's coach, Enzo Berzot, decided to change their traditional blue jerseys to green ones. However, after a series of disappointing results in warm-up matches, Berzot switched back to the iconic blue jerseys and Italy went on to win the World Cup. Question 8. Which football club are the only team to go through a premiership season unbeaten? The answer is... Arsenal. 
Arsenal's unbeaten season in the 2003-2004 Premier League campaign is truly remarkable. But did you know that they weren't the only team to achieve this feat? Preston North End, way back in the 1888-1889 season, also went unbeaten throughout their entire league campaign. So, Arsenal may be the only team in the modern era to accomplish this, but they share a special place in history with Preston North End. Question 9. Where are the U.S. Tennis Open Championships held? The answer is... Flushing Meadows, New York. The U.S. Tennis Open Championships are held in Flushing Meadows, New York. But did you know that the tournament was not always played there? In fact, the first U.S. Open was held in 1881 and took place on grass courts at the Newport Casino in Rhode Island before moving to different locations throughout its history. And with that final whistle, we bid adieu to the world of sports and leisure. Remember, life's a game, keep playing and stay winning. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow, farewell. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.